is Eric Ten Hag undisputedly destroying the careers of players at Manchester United? Do you agree or do you disagree? Because there has been several news on players that are having issues with this new manager. And guess what? It is 7 o'clock. Is it prime time news in Jamaica? I guess so. So make we see. Wagwan. Mirror 7. Welcome to Premier 7, everybody. I am your host of the show, Ryan Nelson. And it has been a while I haven't introduced my name because by now, I believe that you all would have known my name already. <laughs> but I just want to get something out of the way before I speak about the topic. I have hit a hundred videos this will be 101 and i have 466 subscribers things are gone and i just want to say a big thank you to the supporters and if you're new watch like comment share and subscribe to premier 7. now with that out of the way Let's jump into the main reason for being here. Is Eric Ten Hag undisputedly destroying players' career at Manchester United? Undisputedly reminds me of Brock Lesnar in WWE when Paul Heyman decides to introduce him as a champion. But this is all about football. We're not talking about WWE, but we have to make the comparisons because, you know, we're stars. But Manchester United is a club that everyone knows is an idiot. It's like it is telling you to kill yourself. It is telling you to, boy, ignore the TV. It is all over the place. And someone has to take the blame. For sure, on top of things will be the Glazers. And let's balance it out between the manager and his staff and the players. But I just want to speak about the coach right now. Because I was Tenag in, still Tenag in. But I know several persons will be saying Ten Hag out and people. Let this video be a video that opens your eyes because this video is one that really and truly needs the recognition. So do not ignore it. I don't want to see when I'm finished. Nothing is being said by your side because it is all about the views, of course, and the subscription. But most importantly, the conversation is also important. So Eric Ten Hag is a fantastic coach in his days at Ajax. And he finished third in the Premier League for Manchester United, winning a few, well, not a few, but a trophy. It could have been a few if he won the other finals that he has participated in. But Ten Hag has did a great job for Manchester United within his first season. But within his first season, there was a lot of problems. Problems with players again, like the CR7 boss, Cristiano Ronaldo. This season, with <laughs> Sancho, Maguire, who has been playing quite well now, Rafael Varane, Casemiro, what is taking place at Manchester United? The thing is, some players will be rated highly by coaches, whilst others will have a nightmare being around those coaches. And under Tenag's guidance, some players have struggled to find their form, 
some players haven't struggled to find their farm. But some players are left ruining the ones that haven't been able to find their farms. Some players have not been given a chance and I think a lot of persons would realize that it is unfair for Conta Pellistri is a main reason for mentioning such thing. But I want to speak about at least two players who are existing and one player who has left the club. First on the list will be, <laughs> I want for you to guess who the player is. I want for you to guess who I'm going to choose first. An active player in the squad. And that player is none other than Raphael Varan. Right? So Varan is the player first in consideration. So the topic is about players' careers being destroyed by way of a question. But the news have said that revealed the moment Eric Ten Hag and Raphael Varane's relationship broke down as Man United star edges towards January exits. What the hell is going on? Raphael Varane has been the best in many persons' opinion, the greatest centre-back since Ten Hag's arrival at Manchester United. And you could say even in all these days, he has undoubtedly been able to bring United out of trouble, securing one point lead, not one point lead, but one nil leads for several games with the help of, of course, Lissandra Martinez. But Varan is the main man at the centre back position in Manchester. But the news said that Rafael Varan played a critical part in his first campaign under Eric Ten Hag. However, this season, there has been a fail, a falling out with the Dutchman. And then in the press conference, it seems as if nothing happened. So what happened? Varan has become so unpopular with Ten Hag that their relationship has all but collapsed. After Varan was benched for the Manchester Derby last month, there is thoughts to have been a frank exchange as per the Daily Mail. Since then, the Frenchman has only appeared as a substitute three times, three times. The 30-year-old reportedly feels undervalued because John Evans was picked before him. And when Evans went off injured two weeks ago against Luton Town, Victor Lindelof was chosen to play with Harry Maguire. I think that the players don't have a say about their playing time at Manchester United. And I never know or even want to assume that Varane is a player who is disrespectful. I don't see him as that. And he has been coached by several managers before. And I haven't seen or heard him having any dispute or any bad conversations with managers. So, I believe Tenag is not giving the players that opportunity to have their own say. And maybe this guy, Tobido, will be his replacement. But is that the right thing to think about in January to get rid of Varan? Yes, Varan is injury prone since lately. He was even purchased as an injured player. But despite of that, whenever he is available, most times he is outstanding and on top of his game. What do you think about this so far player? Do you think this player is the rightful replacement for Varan immediately in January? Because to me, Varan should not leave until the summer once he's not injured. People, go ahead and support this video. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Next on the list, is a player who is still at the club. Out of favor, thrown aside, dashed aside, flitting over the place, Jaden Sancho. 
Bitter news, old news, stale news, still existing in the present. Jadon Sancho, Manchester United manager, Eric Ten Hag will not back down in standoff with winger. This one is a case of being somewhat balanced because Ten Hag did not choose Sancho and we spoke about the fact that managers will have their favourites. And Sancho isn't a favourite of Ten Hag. He has not been, but Ten Hag was lenient with Sancho for several times. And I won't disagree. In that period for which Sancho was depressed and wasn't being able to play for England in the FIFA World Cup in 2022, he took some months, let me not say months, but some weeks, that is correct, off from the club. And he was nurtured to the best of the coach's ability and so forth, staffs, to give him time as well to recover. And then he gets some game time, was looking somewhat all right, and then he was just not playing again. What is happening with Sancho? We all know Sancho isn't playing for Manchester United, but he's getting paid at Manchester United more than 300k a week. A lot more than a lot of players who have been at the club for more than two years. Playing more games than him, even was contributing more or even less. This season could have been for Sancho. But we know that Sancho will not be playing for Manchester again. Possibly he could if the owners are changed. Or Radcliffe takes up his mantle and say, Ten Hag, we want Sancho to play. Many fans wouldn't want to see him though. So backtracking to September, of course, Man United boss Eric Ten Hag has no intention of backing down in a standoff with Jaden Sancho. Ten Hag will not allow Sancho to return to first team training until he apologizes. We all know what that means because it was based on the post that Sancho did. Saying that he was scapegoated, saying that this, saying that, that. And the post was being removed, if I'm not lying. But then again, as I mentioned earlier on, I don't think players have that chance to have a say at Manchester United when Ten Hag is in charge. Two players out of the way. The last one is one of the past. Is it Eric Bailly? Is it Phil Jones? <laughs> I don't think so, you know. It is all about the boss himself, the man at Al-Nasir, CR7, Su Cristiano Ronaldo. Eric Ten Hag says Cristiano Ronaldo had to leave Manchester United. I have to pause for a while. Is it a case in which a club is performing better on the pitch now? Or worse? You decide, but I am seeing that the club was somewhat better off without Ronaldo. But Ronaldo wasn't the player to be blamed for not performing on the pitch. He was a top goal scorer. He was doing his job in a graveyard shift. And no, of course, he's at Al Nasir. But Ronaldo was not his best at Manchester United. And we cannot disagree on that. But Ronaldo was doing his part. What about the players around him? And to be a top-class player on the highest level with Messi throughout his career, to be playing in the Manchester United squad with players who aren't playing properly, and you decide to speak out. Yes, he was disrespectful by walking away when he was called to be on the pitch as a substitute. Yes, he is wrong about that. But he has not been treated fairly to me. And the news said that Manchester United manager Eric Ten Hag has for the first time said Cristiano Ronaldo had to leave the club following the interview he gave last month. Not last month like that, but the month that he did it with Pierce Morgan. And the interview, I think, as a club, you can't accept. Tenag said on Friday, there will be consequences to make the step he knew the consequences. Of course, Ronaldo knew the consequences. He's not a fool. Ronaldo had to leave Manchester United because it wasn't working out. And again, the topic still stays at is Ten Hag destroying the player's career? People, this video is not only for me to do, 
but it's for me to have my voice being heard and for you to at least say something on this. It is now my time to go because I have done my part. I spoke about three players, Sancho, well, Varane first, Sancho second, and Ronaldo third. Three top players over their career since they came to Manchester United um, receive a lot of money without a doubt. But Manchester United is like a cash hub for people. I wish I could play for them or at least be on the bench in at least two games. Or even be a reserve player because I would be receiving a lot of money. That is what a lot of players would like to go to Manchester United for. But apart from that, these players aren't what they are expecting themselves to be when they're at or when they were at Manchester United. Why? The problem will not stop until a solution comes into play. So people, thank you for listening. Thank you for taking the time out to subscribe and share the video. Bye-bye, and we'll speak again.